Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Commerce. I got a fun little top 10 list for you this week. Top 10 comics to buy to improve your comic book collection long term. Let's get into it. Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it. <laughs> But up, sickos, this is your top 10. Okay, so here's the deal. From 10 to one, lower, cheaper, easier to get, should maintain value, go up in time, long-term spec. The number one's gonna be the expensive one, of course, um, but or the top ones are gonna be more expensive, and according to grade, it's all different, so. This one is kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna put a couple in here that I really like, that I think will keep going up in value. Um, and we're gonna start low. We have a, a 9.4 or near mint copy of Marvel Zombies number three. The original run is pretty sought after. Um, this is the homage to number 340, okay? In this grade, you can probably pick it up for about 20 bucks. If you're lucky, you can get it for cheaper. Mine's signed by Robert Kirkman, Peter David, and Arthur Sudam. I'm waiting to get McFarland to sign it and then I'll be done with this one. Uh, but it's just a classic homage cover and it's one of the best Marvel Zombie covers out there, I think. This is my number 10, okay? Let's move on. Yeah, this episode is gonna have some interesting books in it. Just a couple little extra picks I put in there for you. This next one is X-23 Women of Marvel One-Shot. Now what's so sick about this cover is, or this book is the cover. The cover is absolute fire. Um, I'm guessing these are pretty low print and sought after. You can pick, you know, I personally think this book will keep going up in value. Um, right now, you're looking at about 30 bucks in a near mint minus 9.2 condition. Great cover buy, and I'm pretty sure pretty kind of hard to get variant cover. Low print. Um, let's move on to number eight. We're gonna start getting into some keys and some other things, but I wanted to throw in some fun stuff. Okay, this next book's in about a VF to near mint, so a 9.0 condition. It's number one, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, number one. Uh, I love picking up number ones. This is one of those that, you know, went on for quite some time. Uh, long print run, it's either the third, I think it's the third series, I don't know, second or third series. Um, but in this condition, you're looking at about 35 bucks. Um, this one happens to be signed by Jerry Conway, um, but in a 9-0, you're looking at about 35 bucks. I love picking up number ones, especially old bronze or whatever. I think, yeah, this is a bronze. Or is this early 80s? I feel like it's 79 or... I feel like it might be 80s. I don't know. Um, but yeah, love this book. I think a lot of you probably have it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, this is a really good spec book. These are, this book's on my spec watch. This is like a 10 year spec. This book constantly goes up in value. It's Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number one. Okay, this is the beginning of some great stuff. I could see them doing, completing all the MCU, completing all their good run, and it'll be Beyonder. Now this is a cameo appearance of Beyonder. You don't see him. Um, this is in a near mint or nine four condition. Um, you're looking at about 45 bucks. It's starting to go up a little bit in value. Now, there is an error in this book. Most, I mean, almost, it's about 50-50 on these. You're going to either get the error or you're not. Let me just show it really fast. It's a color print error of Galactus. On these pages right here, he's blue. 
He is blue. So, I mean, if you're flipping through it, you can look through them, try to find it. I would guess this one probably retains a little bit more value than the others. The regular print, or well, not the error, but this is a great spec book, I think. Number one. Let's move on. Okay, at number six, we have Spectacular Spider-Man number 27. In the old days, whenever I saw this book, I would pick it up immediately. Um, you're looking at about, in a 9-4 condition, about 45 bucks. Uh, mine's signed by Jim Shooter, but the key here is the Frank Miller. Frank Miller's first Daredevil on that, on uh, first Daredevil art um, in this book. If you guys see him in the store in the back, just, you might be able to get him for much cheaper than that, about 45 bucks. But uh, just look for it because this is a great book to add to your collection and it always goes up. First Frank Miller Daredevil art. Spectacular Spider-Man number 27. Let's keep going. We're moving. We're moving. Next up, this is a newer book I'm throwing in here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 95. This is in a 9.6 or a near mint plus condition. This is the first time Jenica becomes a turtle. So first appearance of Jenica as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This book has legs. It will always go up. In a 9.6 condition, you're looking at about 50 bucks. This, you know, they added a turtle, man. That's a big deal. So if you can find this book, for a reasonable price, buy it and hold it. It's a great hold, great future comic right here. And that was number five. All right, we're getting up there. It's getting more expensive, getting bigger. Here we go. Okay, here's another book, Venom number seven, the tongue variant. Okay, this is a 9.6 Near Mint Plus this is a cameo or kind of brief appearance. Well, not brief, but it's a cameo of Dylan Brock, Venom's son. Um, this was the secret variant. These are going for about 50 bucks in a 9.6 condition. I remember buying this and I, I didn't even know I had it um, just because they, I thought they all looked the same. And I went home and then I realized later the next day that it was the tongue variant. I was super stoked. I got lucky. Um, I have others like the regular cover right <laughs> but the tongue variant I think you should go after I'm not sure if it might have been like a 1 in 5 or a 1 in 10 I think I'm more guessing like a 1 in 5 uh, but this would be one of those books that you want to pick up that's going to go up in value Dylan Brock is another character that we're going to see the future of unless they kill him off but I don't think they're going to um, but yeah if you can get your hands on that go for it So, this next book is Wolverine number one. This is the limited series, okay? Uh, one of my favorite covers. Now, prices are all over on this book. I would estimate in a 9-2 near mint minus, you're looking at about 50 bucks, but you can probably find them for a lot cheaper. Classic cover has been homaged many a time. Mine happens to be signed by Len Wayne, Joe Rubenstein, Herb Tremp down here. Jim Shooter and uh, Chris Claremont. I'm trying to think, do I need, I feel like this one might be completely signed. Um, there might be another one in there that I'm missing. But yeah, a lot of us get these books, we have them already, but long-term you're looking good on this and you might be able to find it cheaper at your store. But in this grade, you're looking somewhere around there. You could probably get the set of them for around the same price too. It just depends, but to find a real nice grade of this might not be too easy. All right, where are we at? This is number three. So we have two left. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, bigger key here. Daredevil number 131. First appearance and origin of Bullseye. Okay, classic Frank Miller. Um, this book has gone up, okay? This book has gone up from my research that I've been looking at before. A 9-0 condition, very fine to near mint. You're looking, I saw completed sales of 150 bucks. 
Mine happens to be signed by Klaus Jansen and Marv Wolfman. Needs a couple more signatures on there. But this is a great book. I think a lot of you have it. I would try to look for it in your stores. You might be able to get a better deal in your local comic book shop. Um, look for a higher grade copy. First appearance and origin of Bullseye. Very fan favorite. Okay, we're getting number one. Here we go, number one. I'm going to drop a bomb on you. Here we go. Okay, the number one for today is Conan the Barbarian, number one. Now, this is the first appearance of Conan, uh, cameo appearance of King, uh, King Cole. And this is the raw value, and a greater value. It's going to be worth a lot more. In a raw, let's just pretend this is an 8.5, which is a VF+. Plus. Mine's signed by Roy Thomas. Uh, but this book, I love this book. I would try to pick up more if I could. Got a nice deal on this one. And I love Conan the Barbarian. So you're looking in about this condition, 250 bucks raw. Great, it's going to be a lot more. One of the classic books and covers the coming of Conan. Oh, sick. He's coming to the death. Conan the Barbarian, number one. A classic great book to have. And uh, yeah, that's the number one for today. And we'll see what we have next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, comment, tell me if you got these books. Do all those goody good things. And watch this video next if you're interested. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.